Good morning. Yeah, you know, today marks the start of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. At some point in the pandemic, Texas actually ranked second in the nation for remote work. A lot of people think it is here to stay, but unfortunately, that means company hardware is out of the office and still in people's homes where it is harder to protect. Years ago, for a bad guy to hurt you, they had to touch you. They had to be around you. And over the last five to 10 years with technology and the dark web and everything else that's going on in cyber, it's really opened it up for bad guys to attack people all over the country. Now that is Robert Anderson of Dallas-based cybersecurity firm Cyber Defense Labs. He has watched technology evolve during his 20 years with the FBI, overseeing all of their criminal and cyber investigations worldwide as an executive assistant director at headquarters. He's also seen cyber attacks skyrocket in the last 18 months all over the country with companies reporting a huge increase in breaches and cyber threats. Texas school districts are getting hit. There was April's Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack that led to gas shortages and of course last fall's cyber attack on Texas hospitals. Anderson says it's escalating because cyber criminals are exploiting weaknesses during the pandemic. I don't think people understand the severity of what's actually going on across this country. Large, large scale companies can afford robust information security programs and they can hire whoever they want to hire to protect them. But the small mom and pop companies, the mid-market companies across this country that can't afford a multi-million dollar breach or can't afford redundancy and data resilience, they really need help. Said he has a few tips for those continuing remote work. First of all, have a good password. Don't reuse the same passwords between personal and work accounts. Chances are some of them are too easy or already compromised, and that's what actually makes up for 61% of breaches. After that, set up multiple steps to authenticate all of your important logins, either with a text, a phone call, or an email. And of course, do a security assessment of your devices and your own company's protocols. Get trained on how to be cyber secure. Keep in mind, those with older IT IT systems like hospitals and schools are most at risk. And I think it goes without saying, don't click that random link that you see in a random email at work with people feeling a lot of burnout from work from home. That actually happens a lot more often than you think. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Alana Quillen.